Hello RISD. In this month's Keeping Tabs, I want to share with you some of the things RISD is doing to prepare for all of the changes this spring to the STAR test. As a reminder, the State of Texas Assessments of Academic Readiness, or STAR tests, are the state-required tests that public school students are required to take across certain grade levels and subjects to help determine how well a student is learning. It has been around since 2012, and it is being redesigned by the Texas Education Agency to make the test more tightly aligned with the classroom experience as a result of legislation passed by Texas Legislature in 2019. The legislation mandated a limit on the number of multiple choice questions on the STAR test, among other changes. The state also now requires the entire STAR testing process be online, though that is something that we've been doing in RISD for a few years in anticipation of the state mandate. The new law also eliminated the standalone writing assessment parts of the STAR test in grades four and seven and introduces new interactive items that are designed to be more reflective of how students demonstrate what they've learned in the classroom. This STAR 2.0 also provides scoring options to allow students to earn partial credit on certain questions, which is something that RISD has long advocated for as part of the growth mindset. The state actively solicited feedback from educators from across Texas and the Texas Education Agency used that data to inform the main components of the STAR redesign. In short, the new test has been mostly created by Texas teachers. Educators told the state to provide various open-ended formats for students to respond to questions while supporting any special needs of students by providing appropriate accommodations. STAR 2.0 will prioritize passages that reference topics that students have learned about in other classes besides reading and language arts. The redesign also includes new, non-multiple choice questions that are more like the questions teachers ask in every class every day. RISD has been training teachers and district administrators for months about the STAR changes, and even our elected trustees were able to experience the test at a recent board meeting. I now want to share some of the ways parents can help their students at home ahead of the new tests in April and May. There are plenty of resources online, including practice tests that you can take at home. And please don't hesitate to contact your teacher for more ways to support your student specific to his or her individual needs. I would encourage you to reinforce to your student that trying their best is what counts. And then there's just all those little things parents do to calm a child's nerves ahead of challenges such as a big test at school encouraging them to get a good night's sleep the night before, remembering to eat a healthy breakfast the day of, and reminding them of how much we love them and support them regardless of how they do on the STAR test. Yes, the STAR test is super important, but so is context for a child. Ultimately, it is just a snapshot of how a student performed at one time on one particular day. RSD educators use a blend of STAR results, academic growth throughout the year measured by MAP, and day-to-day -day interaction with students to arrive at a full picture of how well a student is mastering the state curriculum. I truly believe that if a parent works with their child's teacher to support literacy and learning while emphasizing careful, diligent work above an actual score on a test, we're giving that child the best chance at academic growth and positive test scores will be a natural result. If you would like to learn more, you can visit the RISD STAR 2.0 page through risd.org to dig into the Texas Education Agency's resources for parents about the updated test criteria, new item types, and be able to take the practice test at home. Those are just some of the ways you can support your RISD student at home this spring. Thanks for watching this month's Keeping Tabs, and please remember that I'm always here to serve and support you.